how much are doctors earning in Nigeria? Are they rich or struggling to survive? Why are doctors leaving Nigeria in numbers? I'm sure you'll have read from news articles, maybe from newspaper or even social media platforms about doctors leaving Nigeria in hundreds and their thousands. So what could be the cause of this? Well, you'll find your answers in this video. Hello everyone, welcome again to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, you are very much welcome. My name is Tamil Eitola and I'm a medical doctor. I film about faith, medicine and lifestyle. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how much doctors earn in Nigeria and why they are living. Now, if you want to find the answer to these questions or um, the answers to these questions, please um, don't forget to watch this video to the end. Give this video a thumbs up if you like to see more videos like this. And um, like, um, share with your friends and family. And of course, I'd like to see your comments in the comment section. All right. So without wasting so much time, I'll be sharing with you how much doctors are in Nigeria. But firstly, you need to understand that there are various cadres of doctors. There are different categories and there's hierarchy in medicine. <laughs> That's what they always say. Anyway, so I'll start from the list and then um to the topmost kind of doctors that we have here. So the first is the house officer. So if you go to a teaching hospital or these um health um maintenance boards, is that what they call HMB? The first doctors that we attend to you, they are called house officers. So they could also be called medical interns. So there are people that just recently graduated from medical school and then they are in their first year of their medical profession. Do you understand? They are the first people that we attend to you before you are further reviewed by other senior doctors. Their salary varies between 150,000 to 200,000, depending on where they are working. That's whether um, hospital management, but in hospital, and even the state where the hospital is. And of course, these figures I'm telling you, they are not absolute. There could be a plus or minus 10 or 20 in some cases, you understand. But I'm just trying to give you a peep into how much doctors earn in Nigeria. The second category of doctor we're talking about is medical officers. Now we have two um, types of medical officers. So they are the NYSC medical officers and post NYS medical officers. Now, if you haven't heard anything about NYSC, um, it's a one year mandatory service to Nigeria that youth have to do after graduating from um, the university. Now I said it's mandatory, but it's not compulsory in the sense that somebody will come to us and come and say, oh, you've not gone for NYSC, oh yeah, go to military fit, something like that. That's how it works, but you just, um, it's just mandatory. It's just mandatory in the sense that you need your certificate for many things. For example, most employers would ask for your NYC certificate before they employ you. Furthermore, if you want to run for political offices, then you will need your NYSC certificate. Now, for doctors, the NYSC is after internship, not after medical um, medical school. Um, like other courses will do, where after I graduate from uni, then the next thing is NYSC. For doctors, you do your internship first, find your fit, and then you go and um, do your NYSC. Now, for NYSC, people are posted to various parts of the country. She so may be posted to one rural village in the north, in the east, in the southwest, so I'm far away from home. So they said the aim of NYSC is to Star relationship between various tribes of Nigeria. So, you are from the southwest, you mean someone from the north, or someone from the east, that kind of thing. You understand. So, now the federal government is going to pay you 3000 every month. Now, for doctors in NYSC, your money could earn from just your 3000 to let's say like 250000 Yeah, depending on where you are working. Like I said, there are doctors, NYSC doctors that actually earn 250k. Now, the amount of money you earn from your employer is going to be based on what your employer feels like. For most people, they just see NYSC as community service, really, because if you don't see it that way, then you're just going to be having ads break every blessed day. So for, some doctors may not earn anything from their employer, while some will earn 50000 70, 80, up to 250k, um, depending on where you are working. The second type of MO is the post NYSC medical officer. So now you are done with NYSC. Yay! <laughs> you have your freedom, you are any money. Anyways, 
maybe not so good money but you get my point you're no, you're no longer slaving under nyc um so for those nyc medical officers their salary could range between 150,000 naira to 250,000 naira now it's important to know that this category of doctors they might decide to work um with private hospitals or public hospitals whatever works for you and the city where you are working, the sector you are working with is what will determine how much you take home at the end of the month. Now, the fourth, um, is that fourth? No, the third category of doctors I'm talking about are registrars. So these are doctors that just started residency. So residency is like you are going into your special training, you are learning to become a consultant, to become someone sort out, sort out in your field. Do you understand that point? For instance, you love cardiology. So you do your residency in cardiology. If it's gastro, surgery, O and G, pediatrics, you get the drill. So these are the most junior doctors in residency. Um, and once again, depending on where you work and your hospital, then the salary could range between 220,000 Naira to 270,000 Naira. Number five is the SR, also known as senior resident. So they are doctors that have finished the um <laughs> the first part of their residency journey, Sha. So they've moved on from junior reg to senior registrar. So you could say that they are next in line to a consultant. So they are almost specialists. And once again, based on where you work and your state, the salary could range between 260,000 naira to 400,000 naira. Now you need to understand that. Um, as you um proceed in your junior reg year, your SR year, um, your salary is going to be gradually increased. I don't know how that works, but I know that they increase your salary based on um maybe every year or every six months. I don't know how that works, anyways. So now the Oga Pata Pata of its consultant aspire the Oga, yeah, the chiefest of all chiefs. <laughs> consultant so consultant is a specialist you know everything about your field like you're like the boss of that unit in the hospital do you get um so and there are even various um ranges of consultants so, so we have junior consultants that's like you just started working as a consult consultant and we have senior ones that have been working for years say five years ten years that kind of thing and of course your salary is going to vary based on your level of experience you get that point but for most consultants they hang between four fifty thousand to six hundred and fifty thousand naira. and now the good thing about this is that you're able to open your um, own hospital too so you get more money from your private hospital furthermore you could be employed as lecturers in university giving you additional source of income all right so that's all for how much doctors in like i said i'm not saying that the um figures i'm telling you are absolute no it could vary maybe plus or minus 20k to 100k that kind of thing based on where you work and your level of experience you um you get my point so um the factors that will influence how much you take up per month are your area of specialization where you work that's maybe private or public sector also your state where you are working maybe or your state legal state urban states that kind of thing and also your years of experience with all influence how much you take home per month so why are doctors living honestly i can't talk for everybody and i'm not making this video to say that oh you need to pack your load and leave nigeria you should not be taking advice from <laughs> or instructions let me use instructions from somebody that you don't know on the internet and just saying our own thing you know i'm actually just saying my own i'm not using it to inform you to make your decisions you understand why are doctors living i really cannot talk for everybody um, but compared to other doctors all over the world, Nigerian doctors actually in the least. I don't know, there was one video that was trending on Instagram and Twitter one time where they were comparing <laughs> how much doctor earns all over the world. And then I think US um came, US and Canada were the first, then UK, and then Nigeria now had how much UK doctors were earning. I was like, what? You're earning that amount of money where? I'm just earning stipends per month. Um, you get my point. So actually, compared to what doctors and all over the world and the amount of work you do, Nigerian doctors are actually underpaid. Now, apart from being underpaid, most doctors are even owed their salary. Imagine working every day, doing calls, seventy-two hour calls, forty-eight hour calls, saving life, um, losing a part of your life because really doctors work hard. 
and it could interfere with your social life your spiritual life if you are not careful your marital life your children have you had um maybe have you seen um um videos on instagram uh, a child will say oh they don't know their father because he's one man that will leave early in the morning and come back late at night because of the nature of their work um and it's not that kind of thing so doctors are not really compensated in nigeria furthermore hospitals in nigeria are not well equipped let's say the truth how many hospitals have dialysis center ct scan mri scan like <laughs> They are ill-equipped and it actually makes your work stressful and slow. But then when you leave Nigeria, you go to hospitals that are well-equipped. There's enough um, ECG machines, enough scans, um, CT scan, MRI. You know, makes your work efficient and fast um, and actually makes you happy you get. So you're not stressing to get things done. I mean, most of the things you do in Nigeria, we don't follow normal protocol, especially for head injury. Because by the time you get to the hospital, you can't even get your CT scan done in <laughs> less than three hours from onset of symptoms. Like, do you understand? Even medications too. Um, so those are things that makes practicing medicine in Nigeria kind of stressful. Again, there's issue of insecurity in Nigeria. I'm not saying that other countries are safe, but well, you know what is happening in Nigeria. So those are things that some people have considered when they wanted to leave nigeria and go to work in saner and better climes lastly education for their children good supply of electricity you don't have to be shouting up never <laughs> because as you pay your light bills you have um light in your house throughout the year except when they want to um interrupt the power supply and you'll be duly informed do you understand and then um for some people it may be a divine instruction from god say pack your load and uh, leave this place that like god told abraham to leave his father's house and go to canaan that i was going to show you um you get my point um so there are um several reasons why doctors have been living in nigeria and it's not just solely due to finance anyway so um this um brings us to the end of this video thank you very much for watching till the end uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel please it's very important and of course like this video, share with your friends and family, and I'd like to see your comments in the comment section. Until next time, do stay safe and remain blessed.